Hey guys, welcome back. I'm divinely destined. Hey Gemini. How you doing today, Gemini? Are you okay? Are you loving this beautiful weather? It may be super cold where you're at, but I'm in Florida, so it's not too bad. Although, it's expected for us to get a little cold next week. Okay, Gemini. Anyway, enough of my rambling. I'm going to give you a daily general message. It's a general message, so it may or may not resonate with no one. Take it how it resonates. Never try to make a reading fit for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Move on. It's okay. There will be other readings that may be for you. Come back later, Gemini. I love you. God bless. I'm drinking Michael. Ooh, it's so hot. He fell out of my hand. It's burning hot. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry about that, Gemini. We got the devil. That's the sign. You need to pay attention to the message. Overall energy is the devil. Wow. I mean, he's so hot. It, it, it didn't even want to stay in my hand. Okay, we got the devil energy starting out your reading, Gemini. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. Wow. Can we get some more messages for the sign of Gemini? Gemini. Woo. The five of wands. Wow. Somebody is stirring. I'm hearing somebody is stirring the pot. Somebody is causing a lot of conflict for you, Gemini. You may be the person that's in this devil toxic energy, keeping up a lot of stress and drama. Conflict. Okay. Now, it may not be you, Gemini. It may be someone you're connected to. They're in a devil energy. Toxic. Drama filled, drama starter, shit starter, a complainer, a whiner, a nagger who want what they want when they want it. Okay, they control people. This person is manipulative. Okay, and I'm hearing strange. Okay, this person is very strange, e egocentric. Okay, I'm hearing a brat. Okay, you may be dealing with someone that is very demanding and taxing on your time and energy, Gemini. Seven of Wands, yes. A nuisance, okay? You may have blocked this person. You may need to block this Sagittarius. You may need to block that Leo. You mean you may need to get rid of that Virgo, Gemini. Okay, you may have put an end to the drama. You may have put an end to this. You said you will not stress me out anymore. You told this person that, okay? This may have been your husband. This may have been your wife, okay? This may make this Taurus, this Hermaphat, okay? He may have been or she may have been someone you were in a long-term relationship with. Okay, I'm hearing boiling point, breaking point. You may have, uh, it, it, it doesn't have to be a long-term relationship, but it may be. You may have been married. You may have been engaged. You may have been in a long-term dom domesticated partnership with this person, okay? For a long time, they kept a lot of stuff going, Gemini. I'm picking up on a, uh, I'm hearing Sagittarius that kept a lot of shits going. You can't take it no more. You put your guard up. You put your block up. You told this person, I will not tolerate it. You block this number. You block, you, you change the locks to your house. You're, you're meeting this person at the door. You can't come in here. Stay away. You're telling this person they can't come in. Yes, musician, Virgo, Gemini energy, okay? You may be dealing with another Gemini, okay? Wow. They're, I'm hearing you and I, you and I. This person is very self-absorbed, but they're also very controlling. I'm hearing narcissists, okay? Cunning, manipulative. Okay, this person may have a gorgeous face. Beautiful lips. Okay, he may be older than you. I'm picking up on the energy of you dealing with someone that was very older. So I'm hearing sugar daddy. Okay, very, very likely he controlled you or tried to control and manipulate you. He, he may have played a lot of mind games. She may have played, played a lot of mind games. If you're a cross watcher, you may be thinking like the Gemini was this mind freak who only used and manipulated and tried to control and abuse you. Okay. Devil energy. Okay, we got strength card. We got the strength, like right? this person, <laughs> the devil and strength. I mean, come on. Can we say powerful? This person was very powerful, Gemini. They were very powerful. I mean, they overpowered you. They were overbearing. I mean, I'm just, I'm hearing over controlling, manipulative, dominating, sadistic. Okay. This person was very spiritually knowledgeable too. I'm hearing tormented. They had you on a leash. They try to control you. They try to control your mind. They try to control what you wore. They wanted you to dress a certain way. They wanted you to act a certain way. They wanted you to talk a certain way. This person may be on drugs. This person may be a heavy drinker. This person may be a gambling addict. I'm hearing control freak. Two of swords. They had your mind. You didn't know which way to go, Gemini. You didn't know what you were going to encounter with this person each day. Every day is like, a, it, you know, it's the same, you know, New day, same same shit, right? But with this person, every day was different. You never knew what you were going to encounter. They kept you on your toes. You never knew which way. You couldn't um, you couldn't predict this person's behavior. 
you couldn't predict this person's reaction. Seven of Wands, yeah. You blocking out this connection, you blocking out this love. This was someone you love. This is someone you had a lot of overflowing love for Gemini. I'm hearing a lot of sex. This person made you very, very sexually excited. They turned you out. They turned your world out sexually. Like this person was the best lover you ever had. Okay. They use their sex. They use their manipulative sexual powers. I'm hearing sex demon. Okay. Be careful who you lay with Gemini. Yeah. This person used their magical sexual powers to lure you and keep you, okay? It was all mind, mind effery. I'm hearing this person wasn't good enough for you, Gemini. They couldn't even match your level. They can't match your level. So they used what they knew how to use best, which was sex. And once they had you good with the sex, then the mind control starts, then the, then the manipulation, then the controlling ta tactic started, okay? Yep, yep, but you're the empress, okay? You're the empress, you're the emperor, okay? You can't be controlled. They don't, they don't know you can't control the Gemini. Are they crazy? <laughs> Gemini, they tried it. They tried it. Yes, this may have been, uh, you may be someone's wife. You may be someone's fiance. You may be someone's mother, mother of someone's child, Gemini. You may be someone's father here. You may be someone's husband. You may be the father of someone's child here. You may have blocked this woman out, Gemini. You may have told her to get out. You may have put her out. Okay, she kept a lot of drama up. She may have had multiple lovers on you, Gemini male. Now, even if you're a same-sex Gemini female, okay, you put, you put this woman out, you told her to get out, okay? She had to go. Now, this may be, um, yeah, he may be watching you, Gemini female. He may be watching you, trying to figure out how he can get you back because I'm hearing you and I. But it's just about control. Watch out because I feel sexually you're very weak for this person. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, stability. Work on your finances, okay? You may be financially stable. You don't need nobody to take care of you. You know how to take care of yourself. You you take care of yourself, Gemini. But I'm hearing, yeah, you may need to you may be trying to work on your finances here. Okay? Yep. You were the rock. You were stable. You were you were the stabilizing force in this relationship, Gemini. Now if you're a cross watcher, you may feel like you were. Okay? Take the reading how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. Okay, Gemini, we got the hair part coming out twice. Most certainly this was someone you were married to. This was your husband. This was your wife. This was someone you were in a long-term relationship with. If you guys were never married, this could just indicate that you, you need to pray more. Your spiritual team is at work here for you, Gemini. They have been helping you. Your spiritual team has been guiding you. Okay, they have been guiding you. Page of Pentacles. Yep, this person didn't have a lot to offer. They had sex, and they gave you the best of that. But it's term of finances and uh, any other area, they didn't give you the best. They offered you very minimal. You may be concerned about your finances moving forward. And, you know, someone may be worried about whether or not you can, um, what do you have to offer, Gemini? You need to start questioning people. You, you know, know your value. I mean, and a lot of Geminis do. But, you know, you fell for that. You, you, they hit you where, you know, they found your vulnerabilities. They exploited your vulnerabilities, okay? They used your vulnerabilities against you. We got the emperor, okay? Most certainly. We got the her and twice. We got the emperor and the empress. This was certainly a husband and wife situation. Take it how it resonates, Gemini. You may have been, it just may have been your baby daddy, your boyfriend, okay? This may have even been your boss, someone you work with, okay, Gemini? But I see that um, you may have blocked him out. She may have blocked you out. We got the queen of pentacles coming out twice. Wow. You may have certainly been dealing with a Taurus. Gemini, wow, yeah, spirit is calling you to focus on your finances, and uh, yeah, you're a very stable person, and, and uh, overall, you're very stable. Now, stability means a lot of different things for different people, but for this, for this particular reading, I'm going to say financially, you are stable. Financially, you are stable. You may be going back to school. You may be currently in school. Okay, you may have an identical twin sister, Gemini. Yes, work hard. You're working hard. I'm hearing you're making, you're working hard to take care of yourself. And you've worked hard to take care of yourself. You've worked hard to put, to be able to financially afford the lifestyle that you want for yourself, Gemini. We got the two of wands, the two of swords, okay? This person may have had you stuck between two people, okay? That may have been, that may have been another lover involved in this scenario, Gemini. King of Pentacles. We got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Emperor. Woo! This was a husband. This was a wife. This was a boyfriend. This was a girlfriend. This was long term here. This was your boss. This was your uh, supervisor. I'm hearing. You may be the boss. You may be the supervisor. You may be the CEO. This was someone you were connected to in a very powerful way. Yep. 
They may want to call you. They may show up at your door. They may want to take you off for drinks if you have left. Okay. Yeah, this person may be praying. You may be praying for more finances. You may be praying for your financial situation to improve, Gemini. Okay. You may be in, uh, praying for self-improvement as well. Yep. You may be praying to get better yourself. House. This may have been someone you just may have been living with for a long time. You may be changing residence. You may be moving out of this house. Okay. Wow. Great fortune. Don't worry about your finances. Okay. This could also indicate you're worth a fortune. That house that you own, you paid a lot for. Okay, you may be getting ready to purchase a house that costs a lot too. Distant horizon, you may be moving out of that house. You may have already left. We got a mature man. I felt like I was talking to a Gemini that was dealing with someone that was older. Okay, you may be the older person here. You may be just the mature one here. You may have been the one that kept your that kept their wits about them. Okay, Gemini, we're going to take some final messages. Final messages for the sign of Gemini. 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 Gemini, this person says, can I have another chance? Woo! Only you know what that means, Gemini. Wow. I'm hearing love spats. Love spell, love spats. Magical sex, healing abilities, okay? Wow. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. One person is giving too much, Gemini. Is that you? Okay. One of y'all is giving too much. Spiritual lesson. This person in your life, this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Wow. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Vulnerability. Okay. It says you were completely vulnerable with this person. Okay. Clearly, they exploited that as well. Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags, Gemini. Don't dismiss the red flags. Okay. Okay. Your true love is already a part of your life, okay? Your true love is already in your life. They may be, and, and you know, you may have broken up with them. You may, you know, you may be friends with them, okay? You may have um, put your true love on a back burner to be with this person, okay? Strictly sexual. Wow, this connection is passionate but not enduring. I told you, there was a lot of sex here. This was just sexual. This person lured you with the sex. Once again, it says strictly sexual, Gemini. This connection is passionate, but it's not enduring. It's just sex. It's, it's a very heavily sexual-based connection. Okay, release. Radically accept and surrender. Okay, radical release and acceptance can help you let go and heal. You need to radically let go. You need to, re you need to release it so you can heal. Passion. Try something you've never done before, Gemini. Spirit is calling you to try something you've never done before. I don't know why I'm hearing uh, bungee, bungee diving or something. Try something you've never done before. Someone is secretly longing for you. This person wants you back, Gemini. I love you.